This is a dispatcher. Do you copy? Copy that. I read you, dispatcher. Over. Very good. Start up and hold. Copy that. Let's get to work. Out. What's up guys, Jim here. So, uh, only a couple things new for this uh, Christmas. We just got these, uh, this three uh, pack of ADM 30,000 gallon uh, tank cars. Very nice, brand new, no complaints. There was one detail that popped off, I popped right back into place, no problem. Those are really nice. Uh, definitely adding to the tank train I got. I have a total of seven. There's only five here because one of them is on the Christmas special. And the other one is a problem child. So, let's uh, head over there and see what's up with that. So, couplers are the problem. This one, perfectly fine. Doesn't let go. Let's roll it down to this one. This coupler, I didn't press anything there. So here, let me switch hands on the camera here. And it just lets go right there. There's so much play that any car can slip right out. I tried and tried and tried, and it's any car can slip out of that. So that's cu problem coupler number one. And there's problem coupler number two. Let's bring her on down. So it latches, cool, but immediately zero pressure. This seat's now it's not now it's not even latching. Yeah. Pr problem coupler number two. Same car. Problem coupler number three. Won't even latch. Switch hands again. So yeah, I'm just pulling her straight open, just like that. No latching whatsoever. So that can't be run in a train. At least that has to be the end car, but. With that coupler being out, you can't run that. Oh, speaking of, there's problem coupler number four. So, problem coupler number four. Doesn't latch. But the other one does, so that's why it's in the train still. That's what's the last car. Anyone have any suggestions? Do I, can I rebuild these, or do I have to order new? I really don't want to glue them shut, like some people have suggested. Um... Anyone has any suggestions that don't involve, you know, gluing it permanently shut? Um, greatly appreciate it. And I mean, I haven't even looked into seeing 
how much it would cost to get new trucks because i mean that'd be one two three of those from that the uh, just three of those in general one of these so there's four different trucks and couplers that would be a pain and a lot of money especially because i don't think i can access the screws on the oh i can okay this one i can the mt uh the mth car mth tank car i cannot and so i had some issues with that i'm just gonna leave this off to the side oh speaking of i also got 60 in, 60 more inches of straight track so 230 inch pieces so next year maybe even longer training you Eventually, my goal is to encompass my entire basement with a single main and a siding. Um, I'm starting to get close to that build, being able to do that with the amount of track I have. Uh, now it's just a matter of uh, power. So, as you saw from my previous clip, or from a clip I'll include actually right now, uh, took it before, took it last week, but uh, I've been having issues with uh, legacy connection. All right, quick update. Got a question. Does anybody know how to fix this? So when I tried to boot up the power, the SD60s, both of them, and generally 513 and 516, all don't recognize this legacy, and I have to fight with it for 15 minutes to get them to run. Because there's the cab lights. So, any ideas how to fix that? Because I've just played around, I play around with each track joint until it works all the way around and it's really annoying thanks So yes, the Polar Express did make it out this year. Uh, it'll only be out for another week or so. So next week's video will probably be the last of it because when this tree goes, so does the Polar Express. I just pulled it out mainly because uh, it was gifted to me by uh, a relative who is no longer with us. And, you know, just kind of thinking about uh, remembering her and then the, uh, you know, also my childhood. And, you know, I absolutely used and abused this thing. I do have parts to replace the bell on the whistle. Uh, now it's just a matter of, I can replace the bell pretty, should be pretty easy. But the whistle, I've, I'm gonna have to look into how to get that out. Uh, how to get the what's left of the whistle out and then put the new one on. So that'll be a little fun little project I, I can do um, next weekend probably. But yeah, it's just 048 turns and a couple of 10-inch uh, straights here and there. Figured I'd treat it to 048 because 036 just looks wrong now that you got 072 over there. So, yeah.
All right, little engine update. 844, I thought I fixed it. it has the same problem as you saw in the last video. Uh, let's see. 3751, the, uh, as you saw yes, in yesterday's video, the, uh, the whistle smoke was working, but not the main smoke. I found out that the smoke unit doesn't work in it. So, the main smoke unit at least. So that was a treat. Uh, so those are those two, you know, with things wrong with them, which is lovely. Uh, and then I'm still looking for a place to send my Boy Scouts of America engine, but I'm just very reluctant to send something that expensive anywhere, because uh, I don't trust USPS, UPS, FedEx to get it there without any more damage, uh, especially because I did locomotive costs like three grand I could probably get for it. Um, so I don't want to uh, risk that one. So I'm gonna have to send one of these out to be my guinea pig and uh, at the, whatever train shop there is because I'm fairly certain that they have all closed down around the Chicagoland area. Uh, at least I work on Legacy. Cause uh, Hobby Town, uh, the guy died. Um, Berwin Toys and Trains only works on the old stuff. Same with uh, Walt's Hobby Shop. So, if anyone has any, uh, if anyone uses anybody in the Chicagoland area f to work on their legacy trains, please uh, leave it down below. Lionel doesn't really keep a list anymore and they won't work on non-warranty equipment. So, thanks.